Michelle and I. This is the astrological update for Pisces. Moon in Pisces and Pisces rising for the whole of December. It's a very intense month and you have great ability to affect great change in your universe and your life, particularly after the 21st. But before that, you're feeling exceptionally adventurous. And from the 1st to the 3rd, if you get this in time, it's the perfect time for you to stretch yourself and to feast upon learning and looking at new ideas, new places, new cultures, new people, and generally be a little bit eccentric. In fact, that's your prescription from the heavens. Be eccentric, be yourself, let it all hang out. Having said that, on the third, it's a time where you're stepping into a new way of being when it comes to your career. You have a new cycle when it comes to your career and your sense of who you are in the world and you're able to communicate quite seriously and say the right thing if you want to have a promotion or, or if you're self-employed, you're able to get your ideas out there this December. Mars, the planet of action, is going into not a tricky position, but a very intense position. It's all about sensuality, obsession, desire, power and powerlessness, secrets, but also money, and unexpected money. So fingers crossed for that one. But you're feeling intense. But bear in mind, it's a very deep intensity. And within that deep intensity comes great insight. So don't be fearful of any intense feelings, but don't necessarily surrender your power. In fact, it's very important you don't give your power away. The Grand Water Trine on the 9th is great for you because the moon's in your sign and it's trining Jupiter in a position of pleasure and Saturn in the position of stretching yourself, you're opening up, you're moving, you're growing, you're expanding, you're becoming fearless. And if people around you don't understand these changes, be your gentle, compassionate self. But you are changing, you are literally that phoenix and your golden wings are flapping. We also have a full moon that's making you feel that you want to be loving to those close to you and a cardinal grand cross, which may be making you concerned about other people's opinions. You may be attracted to someone or even attracted to an idea and there may be some people who've known you a long time and they don't approve or they have an opinion. If this is the case, you know, you've got to be who you are. Nobody can stop you being who you are. And in fact, being a Pisces, you can tend to agree with people in the moment or not necessarily agree, maybe that's a bit harsh, but you have empathy an understanding for everybody's emotions. And sometimes it's difficult for you to find yourself in that. This Cardinal Grand Cross and the other one on the 28th is saying it's so important to be the individual, unique and beautiful soul that you are. Don't let anyone sway you from that. We have the Sun, Venus and Mercury entering the position of one consciousness, of humanity, of groups of people, of friendships, groups of friends. You're feeling very connected to people and feeling very a part of the whole from the 21st. And that's really good for you because often you can feel a bit like an outsider or you can observe and feel other people's emotions, but you don't feel part of the gang. Most of the astrology from the 21st is saying, you know what, Pisces baby, you're a vital part of this gang and we love you. And you should have this great feeling of belonging, which is a really good feeling for you. Yeah, there is another Cardinal Grand Cross. Mm, yeah, you know, a bit tricky, but... I believe you're strong enough to deal with that now. I think you've gone through a lot over the past year. In fact, we're coming nearly to a year when things magnificently changed for you and your awareness was opened. Anyway, have a fabulous time. Let me know what happens. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.